I was out at a trade show in uh, Las Vegas. I went there with Ruben Brown, and we were walking the trade show for new technologies. We came across uh, this company in South Korea, and they had uh, a, a, a point-and-click type machine where you can draw on the, uh, on the TV, and it was good for X's and O's, and it showed video, and we said, wow, that looks cool. And Ruben goes, yeah, you know, the Bills could really use this. And so we continued, we went on, we were talking about it, we continued to go. Uh, through the show and then we came across this other company that did the same thing but on a projection system much like we're going to see and uh, it did the same thing where you can uh, annotate over it, it shows video, does 2D, to 3D and lo and behold before we knew it uh, we inquired with the company and they were in our backyard. Uh, I came and looked at it and he wanted to know how it applied to uh, the coaching side of, uh, of it and uh, so after I looked at it uh, you know, as coaches, we don't have a lot of time. We're very um, busy during the day. It has to be simple, has to be efficient. So those are the types of things that, uh, you know, I said we needed to go forward with. And then I brought Henry, and Henry was the video director for the Bills, and, and I've known Henry since 1998. If we'd had something like this available four years ago, we would have probably bought it at the Bills. I had to kind of manufacture my own product there, and they're still using it. But it uh, created a lot of efficiencies for team meetings and that. It's unique because it puts all of the components together in one unit and doesn't leave cables to be run all over the place and be disconnected inadvertently and so forth. So all of the things that we felt were appropriate to go into a unit, projection, sound system and connectivity to inputs such as cable TV or Xbox or Wii's or a laptop um, are all made very easily. Sport uh, 250 was the first one we came out with. It does uh, video projection um, and it allows you to annotate and show game film, show the play next to it. Uh, you can annotate with, annotate with the pad and uh, the coach can use it to uh, hold meetings and go, uh, in this case, Reuben Brown. Uh, Reuben, you were supposed to do this and you know what, you did this. Why don't you fix this in the second half and uh, maybe we won't get sacked. And uh, so that's how it can be used in sports. It's a great teaching tool. Uh, and that's what video directors do is they, they try to you know, educate the people. This is the play, this is what you did, this is what you can do to improve. My side of it was basically the coaching side. Uh, how, how are coaches going to use this? Uh, a lot of the older coaches, they don't want to spend the time uh, and the effort um, learning anything new with technology. Uh, now all the younger coaches, they, they, they're whiz kids, you know, they, they, they got it down. Uh, so we had to have something simple. Uh, and it's also a tool that, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the teaching we did was with a laser pen. And you're, you know, players are sitting back there and, you know, they're looking at this red dot. Uh, and, you know, some of them aren't really following the dot. Some of them have a hard time following the dot. Uh, so this allows you to put either video, uh, a play uh, on the board, and you can annotate over it so they can actually see a line going from what you're talking about. And they don't have to visualize all the time. Uh, actually, our marketplace is really in the college ranks because a lot of those folks don't have this kind of equipment available to them, and uh, we can sell to them a lot easier than the NFL. The NFL has pretty much all the solutions already, or they think they do anyway. You know, but the coaches that do see it, uh, especially the audio part of it, uh, they like it. And in high schools is where you can reach because a lot of the high schools, they, they go into their locker rooms before the games, Friday night, whatever night it is, Saturday, Thursday night, and right before they go out for warm-ups, they'll play this video, this, this motivational video to get them going. And that's the beauty of the mini. You can take it in there, you set it on a table, you put it on a wall, you don't need a screen. It's got the audio built in, play it, they're out on the field right now and go. So uh, the, the high school uh, is a big audience for us. Uh, you can watch high def video, you can do 2D, 3D with it. It's got a great five to one stereo sound system. Um, it just sounds, sounds awesome. And uh, we said, wouldn't that be cool if we could connect an Xbox Connect on it? So we did that. So now you can play Xbox Connect uh, with a 150 inch image and it is really awesome and cool. I spent so much time at trade shows, um, went to probably 30 a year 
um, years ago. And the feedback was not only coming from people that first saw it, but from people that were returning customers coming to the show and telling me how much they liked it. So constantly getting good feedback and then incorporating that into future designs. I think it's important for Western New York. I think anything you can do here to develop a product here and bring Western New York to the forefront is important.